Okay, so we're back to level nine. <coughs> and I jumped ahead to the room that we left off in in the previous part, and I misspoke. Obviously, when I said cheat to get to the end of the level, I misspoke. I meant cheat to get back to where I was. Again, just because I don't want you to have to watch me redo the thing over and over again. Um, I'm basically showing you how to do, how to play the game, you know, how to get through the levels, what's in the levels. Not, you know, me constantly redoing the same thing over and over again until I get it right. So, okay. Uh, I did not cheat myself a potion. I'm going to try to get through this room without using it. But we'll see how that goes. So, let me try surviving. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. After I uncheat, of course. Sorry about that. Um, and, of course, I'm going to die now. So now I've got to be more careful. Fortunately, with the Master Swords, I don't, I don't take quite as many hits. Oh, thank you! Come on, get on the top. There we go. Stop walking into him! I did not tell you to go there. I tell you, I did not. I want to get on top of a block. Well, a miracle may occur, and I might actually survive this. Thank God. Those weren't... Oh, poo! Thank God, though, those weren't... Uh... Oh! Wait, why are there two? I had... I had it down to one. Why did they bring two back? <coughs> Excuse me. Doing better than I thought I would. Not well, just better than I thought I would. I really thought I would die immediately. And I'm just glad they aren't uh, death nuts. Death nuts, I would have been toast. Okay, now this guy's just gonna get in a favorable position for me, and then I can be done with him. There we go. Okay, now. The, um. What do you call it? The red ring should be off this... should be somewhere off this room. I gotta figure out now what I used to uncover the other stairway. That's the stairway I would have come in here from, the one you saw me come through last time. And I don't think this is a push block. I think I used a gimmick, but I'm just gonna push to be sure. <coughs> push to be sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did use a push block. I couldn't remember if I used magic or what I used. Alright. Things are about to get incrementally easier. But only very incrementally. Yay! I'm red! <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, I can't shake this cough. I had a cold like a week ago, but the cough will not leave me. Oh, that's right. That's why. Level 2's always respawn. Level 3's always respawn. That's right. One of those little things I'd love to know how to turn off, but I can't. And let's see, I'm in room D. I do not need to fight. Oh, you're easy anyways, but I don't need to fight you guys. I'm not going to fight ya. I I'm not in the mood to fight ya. I do, however, have to deal with you little buggers. Of course, I'm slightly less vulnerable now, so... I don't know why I'm using my sword. I can get it. Why are you killing yourself? Why are you killing yourself? <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Suicide's not funny. I, I didn't mean it like that. Um, yeah, I should probably think what I'm saying before I say. Okay, and I did set in a little shortcut here. Um, just looking at my map here, making sure I'm following the right path to it. Okay, so... Down here, this takes me back to the stairway B. Yep, 
Yeah, these guys can't... Oh, yeah, like likes can't take the mirrored shield, so... You know... You avoid them... Now you just have to avoid them to avoid further damage and not losing your, uh, shield. Which is nice. Of course, I could could have been cruel and set it so they could eat it, but I left it default, and I'm glad I did. I think that's better. I mean, you might not find the mirrored shield and get to this level with your, uh, magical shield, which would make it hard. Okay, let's see. So I went here, and let's see. This is where the stairway B was, but I don't want stairway B now. Let's see. I want to go... Okay. <coughs> this way. This way. Wow, these rooms stayed clear. That's weird. Some of them just stay clear after you die. Some don't. I don't know how they decide, but that's fine by me. As long as they stay clear and give me less work. I'm a happy camper. Okay, I haven't been here yet. Oh, no, I have been here. Those are my, uh, I think those are my, like, um, Uber Gibdos that I created. I'm not sure, though. No, that's not what I meant. Why did I pick the whistle? That's not what I intended to pick. I intended to pick a wand in case I wanted to get it from a distance. See, I am so stupid. Okay, what's in this room? This is, oh, okay, okay. I know where I'm going, okay. I had to keep looking back on my map because I don't remember everything on this level. Okay, I don't need to clear this room, but I want to go... Um, I think I want to go down. Yeah, I want to go down. Basically, I have to do some backtracking to get where I need to be. I need to get... Yeah. I uh, need to take the third doorway off that Triforce lock room. But, oh, yeah, the one with the Triforce lock. That's the room with, like, the first room you enter after the enter entry room. But you can only get in if you have the whole Triforce. Yeah. I want to go here. I want to take the right. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to die again because I'm low on energy, but... Or life, or whatever you want to call it. That's okay. And we want to get to Stairway C. Man. I've been to Stairway... Oh no, I, was in st I went to Stairway B before. I'm going to Stairway C now to get to Stairway E. Okay, I know I'm going. <coughs> yeah, it, it, it's a pattern. Like most things in this, these games. There's a pattern you want to follow to make it easier for yourself. Oh, no, 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 you, you go, no, go back up that way. That makes you a lot simpler. Oh, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to stab you. I didn't want to walk into you. I never want to walk into you. I want to kill you. Big difference. Ah. Ha ha. And you didn't give me anything. I don't like you anymore. Okay, yeah, well, I... Not anymore. I never liked you. I just like you less. How's that? I must say... The combination of the red ring and the mirrored shield makes this a lot simpler. Oh wait, why am I... You're not going to shoot anything that can fire back at you. Okay, there's a block here I probably need to push. And it's probably one I don't suspect. See, it's getting the further levels and I start picking really arbitrary blocks. Just to make you scratch your head and go, what the crap? <coughs> okay, this is one of my... Uh, we faced this guy before. Can only kill him with sword. I have to get on this side. Stairway. Yeah, my 
level two off of Mantis, which isn't he isn't super difficult, but you know, you don't have the nice convenience of the bombs that you have with the regular one. Okay. That's this stairway, and I don't need to kill any of you guys, so I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, this room's mean. Because there's a pathway to follow in this room that you can't see. And I had someone who didn't like this. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I don't know if it was overly difficult or if it was that person's personal preference, you know, personal um, thing. I don't know. I kind of like the idea because I think it's challenging. But again, you know, I guess it comes down to the player. I think some people might find it ridiculous and unfair, while other people say, no, no, that's, that's a cool little gimmick. I mean, you know. See, you can't just go any old way. You're better off clearing the room of these guys. So that you can explore without dying. And see, it's really not that hard to get across. You just clear the room first. I don't, I don't know. I get it. Maybe it's me. Okay, and I am... I've lost track of where I am. Okay, is this... Yeah, this is he. Okay. So in a lot of the rooms, the stairway you don't want to go down is the one that you have to uncover. Not all. This room, you know, like, there'll be two rooms, like, really close to each other. One is a stairway you have to uncover, one has one that's obvious, and the one... <coughs> and you... <coughs> <coughs> might think to yourself, well, this one was covered, so that must be the stairway I want to go down. They want, he wants me to go down the stairway that's obvious, and that'll send me back to the start. And the one that's hard to find is the one that'll take me where I want to go. That's why he hit it, to trick me. So I don't find that one right away. But actually, I play a switcheroo on you on this one. I make it so you actually take the stairway that's hidden, and not the one that's, well, not hidden. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you. Here's the other stairway here. Now see, you think this stairway, that's very obvious that I have to clear, you know, that's right there, that where I put like three guys that you have to clear the room to get to, that must be the stairway I want to go down. But it's not. It takes you to the beginning. So this is actually a complete waste of time. Yeah, I'm going to show you anyways, just because. Okay, uh... I don't know why I don't just use a wand, it'll leave fire behind, that'll kill other ones besides just one hit, but areas are fun. So don't go down there. Do not go that- well, I mean, you can go down, but just don't go all the way through the pathway and come up the other side, because you'll come out at the beginning and there's no way back. Oh, other than, you know, taking the conventional pathway. So instead... And I put it right there. Aren't I a little stinker? Let's see, I just want to see. This will take me... I'm trying to see where this goes from. Oh, okay, I know where this goes. Okay. Ah, uh, I want boomerang. I'm tired of wasting rupees. The funny thing is, well, I might need rupees if I want to go out and buy a potion. But again, since I'm doing this for demonstrative purposes, I'll probably just cheat myself a potion if I need it. And I will be needing a red potion. There's no way I'm going to finish without a red potion. Oh, you like my little uh, level 9 layout of the blocks? I thought that was kind of cool. I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's anything... I feel like there's one room that drops a potion if you clear it, so I'm kind of... And I think it's get as you get closer to the end of the level. So that's why I'm kind of being a little more picky about killing everything. Because I don't really like to clear the room for keys, because there are no keys drop in this level. Okay. There are no keys in this level, but... You might get some nice little goodies. I, I just... I keep thinking to myself, why did I bother putting locked doors past those first few lock Those first locked doors, or those first first three locked doors surrounding the, uh, the Triforce room. Because, again, if you don't have the magic key, you ain't getting here. If you got the magic, if you've gotten here, you have the magic key, in which, ca in which case a locked door might as well be an open door and poses no threat to you. 
Oh man, see I'm getting mean in this room because I put I put death nuts and the disabling bubbles and everything else and I'm just cruel. I think. Okay. Oh, I made my own little uh, Oh no, no, those aren't. Never mind, never mind. Those are the regular arrow ones. For some reason I thought I'd made like this they look like a different color and I thought, did I make my own poles voices? But I didn't. I didn't. This is just your standard issue poles voices. This is Okay, is this a bomb or is this I think it's a bomb. It's either a bomb or a walkthrough, either way. Okay. So that means I'm there on the map. Okay. We're getting to the we're getting close to a really, really hard room. We ain't there yet. But we're getting there. Okay, you know what? You all suck. Oh, wow. You suck a little less now. When you realized you couldn't kill me, you said, well, I might as well help him. Thank you. And, okay, I didn't drop anything. I keep thinking there's got to be something I drop in these rooms because I'm getting to a harder section. Oh, I did this again. Oh, I'm so horrible. That's okay, though. Let's see. And I am there, so... Okay. Wait a minute. Where am I? One, two... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know where I am. See, now, if you never got the Master Sword, it's even harder, because I think, even with the Magical Sword, those vires um, split into bats that... You know, they're um, tribbles. So, split into bats and they can re... I think, yeah, because I don't think the magical sword kills him in one hit. I don't assume everyone's gonna get the master sword. Okay, now if I can find my pathway up here. <laughs> Oh, why do I like doing this so much? Oh, because there's a challenge for you to play. There we go. It's really not that hard. Okay. Um, let's clear you with arrows. <laughs> I broke even on that one. Ain't I stupid? And I get to a room where it's going to be really hard, and I cannot hide in doorways. Okay, where am I? I am... Wait a minute, where am I here? Okay, stay... Oh, I remember. Ain't that mean? I make you push a shooting statue. You have to push a shooting statue. I just suck. So you have to take a slight risk that you're going to get hit. If you're low on life, you might die just trying to push the block. And of course, how are you going to figure out to push a statue? Well, I did have one other level where you had to push a statue. So it's not that bad. So let's see, I come out. Where do I come out? I come out here. Oh! You suck. You suck, Link. Okay. I keep hoping they'll drop me a potion, but they don't. I clearly forgot to mark my map as to where the stuff is, where all my goodies are, so... Level 8, I marked everything. Everything that dropped was dropped in every room was clearly marked on the written map, but not so with this level. There's only there's actually only one couple rooms. I marked where the red ring was. I marked where, if you cleared the room, you got a bomb. You got bombs, and I marked, of course, where where Zelda is, where the tri- you know, but where Zelda is, and I marked where Ganon is. For some reason, I never bothered to mark where everything is. Where all, you know, the tri different, uh, goodies are. Don't know why I did that. 
Kinda wish I had, though. Not that it would really matter for anyone other than me, because you'll never see that map. But, you know. Duh, 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 come on. Wow. It's been 20 minutes I've been going at this? Holy crap. And I... Oh. I'm definitely going to cheat myself a potion soon, because if I don't, I'm going to be repeating this a hundred times for you guys, and we're going to be here, like, forever. I'm not going to be that mean to you. Why am I killing all you guys? What am I doing? Why do I bother to kill all those damn bats? Shit! Wait a minute. Oh, I... Wait. No! Oh, I remember what it is. Oh, I felt for my own... And I didn't mark it on the damn map? Oh, you are kidding me. Okay. So, what it is is that room... Should have had stairway G, which would take me above stairway H, which would take me to Gant to the room right below Gant. What I forgot to mark on the map was that the that there was also a return to start stairway there, which means I gotta go all the way back there. Oh, it's so cruel! I am a horrible player. I'm a horrible person. I'm so mean. No, I'm a horrible map maker. I'm a bad cartographer. Uh, I'm also going to be a bad Let's Player, because screw this. I am not replaying that whole thing on you again. I'm sorry, I know. It's cheap of me. But we are not... I'm not extending this Let's Play that long. Yeah, okay, I know, I know. You suck. Ah. <sighs> I know you think this is cheap of me, it is cheap, but my goodness, I'm not gonna let- I, I, I feel bad making you guys, like, just watch me do that over and over again. It just feels mean. Oh, it's gonna be all those guys back again. I'm just gonna stand in this doorway. Okay, I'm sorry about that little screw-up. I apologize. I must kill these guys again, you stupid little death nuts. And death nuts and level 3 dark nuts. That's just... They both gotta... They both gotta be, uh, respawners. Come on. Get where I can kill you easily. Yeah! Come on. Come here. Come here. Now, what we're not going to do is go down that stairway again, because that would be stupid of me. That would that would fit Einstein's definition of insanity. What we want to do is remember which block it is that I have to push to get the real stairway. It's got to be one of the corner blocks. Is it a push? Okay, come on. Come on, Scott. Where are you, sucker? Oh, this is horrible of me. I'm gonna lose my freaking head. What the crap? What is the gimmick for this room? I know I don't want to go down that stairway. But I know that the right stairway is in here. It's one of those blow your whistle jobbies. No, it's not a blow your whistle. Oh, this is a bitch. I I know for a fact. <laughs> that there. No, no, no. I already knew you moved. What did I do? Oh, this is just. This is not good. This is this is bad when the let's player playing his own damn level can't remember how to do anything. Okay, okay. I remember now. Okay. <laughs> wow. Isn't that, isn't that just awful? Who'd have thought of that? 
Only the person who made the other people. I don't know though. I never got any questions in the forums on how to get through there. So I guess that means that other people figured it out eventually. Even though they probably cursed me for having to go back to start. <laughs> they probably cursed me for that too. Drop anything in this room? Please drop something. Yes! Okay. Not as nice as the potion, but it's something. And I'm gonna tell you, the other side of the stairway I want to take in this room is uh, not a place I want to go without a potion. Absolutely not. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? <laughs> she went through all that crap. You may be very low on health. Here's a, a heart. A single heart to keep you going. <laughs> okay, now. Four stairways. And you're going to go, well, how do I know what stairway I got to take? Because I figured out at this point that the wrong stairway means I'm screwed. I'm going back to start. So which? how do I know which of these stairways to take? Well, that's a trick. So you're looking at the room and you got to say, what the heck could be the trick? Well, let's see. Why is there, there's a block next to every stairway. I wonder if I can cover, uh, I wonder if these blocks move. And I wonder if they move, they cover every stairway but the one I want. So you start pushing. And maybe this isn't your thought pattern, but you start pushing. And you're gonna find they all move. Cause they all take you back to start. And you're left for two. Now you have two and obviously one of them takes you to the right place. So what do I do? Well, the, 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 uh, the ideal thing is that you want to pick the right stairway. You want to pick the right stairway. Ha! And it's that. Literally the right stairway. And I am at this point going to give myself a potion. Because if I don't, I'm going to die very badly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to have to go out and buy a potion and prolong this thing any farther than any longer than I had to. We are almost to Ganon. I'm probably going to use that up in one room, but Ganon's... Ganon's not I made Ganon harder. I actually added hit points to him from the default, so he takes more hits than the default. And the reason I did that was because the default runs on, is set the same as the original Zelda. And the original Zelda, there was no Master Sword, so I figure since I'm giving you the Master Sword in this and you're going to fight Ganon, it would be too easy to leave the hit level, the hit points at the same level as they were at default as they were in the original Zelda. So I upped it so that the Master Sword doesn't make it super easy. Shit, and see, there's where I mean. I thought there was more stuff in there. So now I have to go back to where there was a blue bubble to get my sword back. I could have, I put more guys in that room. I know I put more guys in that room. Oh, yeah. I didn't make it so bad. At least, at least you only have to go back one room to get your blue bubble. I could have sworn, I thought I put more guys in there. I mean, they're all level, I think they're all level threes. I don't think I was cruel enough to put a death nut in there. But I thought I had more enemies in that room. I thought I had like likes in there too. I don't know how that room got simplified like this. This is far easier than I remember being. Okay, good, good. No! No! Bite me! Bite me, you little hobo! No! Oh, you hobo. And yeah, I'm cheating my way back. I'm cheating my way back there. You can't do this. But I can. I shouldn't even show this. I shouldn't even be showing you me doing this. I should just, like, pause the recording. Do this and come back and just be like, Oh, I wanted to save you time, so I, I walked back. So, so I just went back, you know, so I just, I just, I, 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 I just cut all that part out. But no. I'm just a jerk. I'm a jerk. <laughs> And I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna just do it right in front of you like a jerk. Okay. 
Can I disable like this with it pause? Oh my gosh. Wait, all my swords disabled. You bastards. And what's extra mean about that is Dark Notes can only be killed with the sword, as we all know. <laughs> Which means I have to get my sword back. And then I had to do this thing all over again. You see why I... Yeah, I think maybe I had more guys and I figured it was too cruel and I took some guys out of there. I must have. Because I think originally I had like-likes and I... You know, in case you still had the magic shield. So, hey, you could lose your sword and your magic shield. Oh, then I, I think I took them out because it didn't matter because the magic shield doesn't protect you from these guys. At all. And this is why we use our potion. This is why I cheated a potion to myself. Because I knew this would happen, and now I'm going to lose my sword too. How many of those damn things do I have in here? And now I lost my sword. Oh, and I've made zip progress. I am making jack crap progress in that room. I'm trying to get rid of the damn wall masters. And in the process, I lose my sword, and now those guys are reset. See, I'm an asshole. That's that's just how mean I am. This oh man, this let's play is getting long. I'm sorry, I got a lot of long let's plays for this, I know. I just wanna wrap this dang thing up. I really just wanna wrap this up. I'm not gonna, like, cheat in the room as far as, like, I'm not gonna make myself invincible and fight the guys. I'm not gonna use some code to clear the room. I won't be that... I won't be that... that. What in the... What in the magic pan flute happened? Wait a minute. What? I set the dark nuts as the first. I oh, I put the. Wow, that was stupid of me. I think you probably already figured out what I did based on what I've described in my earlier episodes. I, like a dope, set the wall masters as the first enemy. Now I did that thinking I don't want to lose the wall masters because those take you back to the start. And that makes the room extra hard. However, I'm forgetting that the Dark Nuts are hard to kill. So, if anything, I should leave the Dark Nuts in there. And lose the wall have the Wall Masters get lost. Because, yeah. Because, oh, wow. Okay, so see? there. There's another time where it pays to kill the easy guys first and come back. Because then all you have left are the easy guys. Oh, wow. Well, that worked out great for you. And... Okay, we're off to Ganon. And let's see, we need our silver arrow. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I mimicked the original room exactly. Really? You could pick one spot and just keep stabbing at it and eventually he will appear there. Okay. Have it ready. See, already more hits than you normally have against. You know what I should have done? Do you really mean? I should have put a sword disabling bubble in here by itself. 
That would have been so awful. Because every time you lost your sword, you'd lose all progress you made on Ganon. I know you were just... I finally beat it with a lot of cheating. Oh. Thank you, but our princess is in another dungeon. Ha! Just kidding. Wouldn't that just suck, though? Okay, and that is... A simple quest for Zelda Classic, my own personal quest. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. I hope you weren't too upset that I used some cheats to get through it. Um, so if you liked it, I hope you give it a try. Um, or maybe you've been playing along with me. I, I don't know. And been going, you cheated through there. I can't follow along with you because I got to go back and do that again where you could just skip over it. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the game. And if you played the game, I would love to get a review from you it's okay if you didn't like it um constructive criticism is welcome as long as you're not nasty about it some people are nasty constructive criticism is always welcome i mean this is my first quest so i probably did some stupid things i probably made some mistakes that i could learn from in the future i don't know when or if i'll be making another quest just because i have a lot of projects on my plate things i need to be doing things i do for fun but things i'd like to get done that quite frankly i actually enjoy more than this i do like making this quest but i have stuff that i like making, um, I make commentaries for movies. I, I think I mentioned this in an earlier part of the Let's Play, but if you didn't watch that one, uh, I make commentaries that make fun of movies. They're, they're like riff tracks, or like Mystery Science Theater 3000, if you ever watched that. They watch bad movies and they make fun of them. <coughs> Mike Nelson started his website after, year, several years after the show went off the air, uh, making commentary tracks, making fun of movies, and uh, Kevin... Kevin Murphy and Bill Corbett joined him, and they eventually opened the site up so that fans could upload their commentaries and sell them. So I did that, and my commentaries are under Fire Riffs. Um, you can go if you go to uh, RiffTracks.com. Actually, you know what the easiest thing to do because of the way the site's set up? Go to Google, Google Fire Riffs Presents, and my product. You know, you'll find at least one product page, and then you can go to my to my um, brand page within iRiffs. On, on Rift Tracks, and you can see my tracks. I also have some on Gum Road because the IRF section has been down for over a year. It was supposed to be for a few months while they remodeled the site, and it's been down. I mean, you can buy the stuff, but I can't upload anything new, so I've been selling on Gum Road. But if you're interested in those, I got a lot of commentaries out there uh, for movies. Not all bad movies, some of them are bad, some of them are good movies that could just be made fun of. But really, you know, have fun, check them out. Um, they're cheap, they're like. They're buck ninety nine for most of them for MP3 commentaries. They're just this, just the audio. You sync it up with the movie. I have some shorts. I have one um, video, like full length video riff of a public domain movie, Invasion of the Bee Girls. That one is a little more. It's four ninety nine, and that's on Gum Road. Um, but it's funny. It's one of my more recent ones. Uh, my old ones aren't so great, but my newer ones might. Obviously, like most things, you get better with time. So, if you want to check those out too, enjoy. And um, this thing has gone on long enough, so see ya.